here we go, here we go. Welcome to Mighty Guga Plays for you. This is Mighty Guga, your host, and today we're gonna be doing a short play on a game called Reassembly. This game is not new. Actually, its release date was on February 19th, 2015. Uh, but on, on back then, it was a big innovation game um, about building spaceships and f exploring the universe and fight, fighting your way and collecting resources. Uh, since then, a lot of games, a lot of games similar to this one, have come out. But I would like to call your attention to this one because it it has been being active, active being developed. Uh, the last update was uh, just October 21st this year, and a spaceship building and universe exploration game. Collect resources, expand and grow your fleet, and conquer your personal galaxy. Okay, this game is developed by Unisoptera Ani Games, and it's on, on Steam and it has a very, very community uh, very positive uh, review. It has a lot of mods and it's being active developed so I thought you guys would like to check this out. Let's go to it right now. Alright, so uh, you start choosing a race or a faction, something like that, and this faction has some pre-built uh, spaceships, but the idea here is that uh, you can collect money uh, R's, the calls, and trade for credits, and as you trade this, you gain uh, credits, and with these credits, you can upgrade your ship and build whatever you want. Um, this is actually, when it was released, it was pretty innovative. I haven't seen a game, uh, I haven't had seen a game like this uh, back then. And now, actually, uh, although there's a lot of uh, similar games to it, it's still a pretty fun game to play. You know, you can spend hours playing, building and designing your ship. And as you go, I'm sorry about this, I just, I, I installed a mod to disable the tutorials, but I don't think it's working very well. Every time you start a new game, you have to do the tutorial, so it's kind of annoying. But anyways, let's go. I think it. I think we're fixed. So let's look at the map. We are here, and we can uh, activate another station right up to here. Let's see what's going on. There's not a lot of enemies still. As you can see, this is my ship, and you you can control and you can bind keys to the controls to your thrusters and everything. Uh, Oh, it's weird. There should be a space uh, space station here, but there's not. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if this. Oh, it's hard to pilot those ships. Oh, here we go. Let's activate this one. Where am I? Oh, here am I. So, oh. There's a bunch of enemies here, so let's fight them. Oh sh As you get damage, uh, the energy processing or production in your ship can uh, heal your parts, so it reassembles. Uh, so it reassembles so you heal over time it's not that effective you still have to I'm trying to get this guy but I can't oh shit <laughs> my weapons are too too weak to fight this guy see let me see if I can get him I'm gonna get him die enemy die well he's not dying let's leave him alone I have been ah you know maybe 
maybe you'll die. Maybe you'll die. But as you can see, it's very fun to play. It's very simple, actually, the gameplay. But it's immersive. Let's see if our station can help us out. Yeah, our, st our station is shooting him. Shoot. And sending. Get a hit, Mayday, Mayday. Okay, let me go collect some R's so we can upgrade our ship. Oh, what's this? It has like this organic ecosystem that where you can uh, collect resources. It's well, it's it's a very nice concept and it's working so far. It makes the game very fun. And as you progress, as you progress, you can uh, build, increase your ship capacity to carry R's. And after you have some R's, you can go back to to any station that that's from your faction and trade them for credits. And with credits, as I said before, you can upgrade your ships and do uh, several upgrades. There's not many R's around. Let's see if we can go. Whoa. Ooh, that's a capital ship. Am I destroyed? Oh, I died. That's a huge ship. What was, what was I doing? Okay, I'm gonna respawn on this, on the space station here. That guy is still here, <laughs> messing around. Okay, I need more R's. I lost all my R's. That's from my faction, I think. I think, yeah, and that's not. Let's fight it. Got it. So when you collect... Oh, there's another enemy right here. Oh, it teletransported. What the hell? Oh, here we go. We are getting a lot of ours. A lot of ours. A lot of ours. A lot of ours. Let's go back to the station and see if we can trade it. I just want to show you guys, even if it's just a little bit. Okay. Let's go to the fact. No. Okay, this is the map. The profile. You can customize your ship. Uh, upgrades. You can buy new parts, new blocks, where you can. Uh, from which you can design in your, in your ship. Let's okay. If you want to uh, big build uh, build bigger ships, you have to to increase the P capacity. We're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna buy. Okay, we have plasma cannon, auto cannon. Let's let's get the proto beam. Okay, got the proto beam. The drone launcher I don't need. Uh, let's get the tor torpedo launcher. Okay, we have the missile launch. And then we can go here to fleet. As you can see, I'm, I'm playing with the interceptor, but I can design a ship from scrap. Let's just get the interceptor and add some weapons to it. The tutorial is on. Please ignore that. I know that's not a lot, lot professional. Not too professional. Okay, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to add... Oh, this is a big cannon. Let me... It's not for this ship. I'm gonna go f with plasma, plasma projector. The only beef I have so far is that because of these connections, sometimes you, you cannot get the, the desired effect you want from your ship. But see, there's a lot of thrusters to help you move around. We can even put some other... Uh, this is too big for my ship. We can add some plasma cannons if we want. Let's do that. Plasma cannons. Okay, let's exit, save, and now let's put the interceptor as the ship we are playing. All right. Where am I? Okay. Yeah, much better. Now let's get go get some more R. Oh, there was a huge battle around here. Huge battle. Okay, I got a lot of R's. Well, let me just give it back to the station because I have a 
our cap and so we don't waste our future battles oh there we go missiles missiles let's see if this guy dies now I don't know if our proton... Ah, it's working. The cannons are working. I can see it coming. Okay, let me get smart here. I'm gonna have to get closer to this ship. This ship is really strong. We have been trying to, to fight it since the beginning. It's... Those are some big ass ships. We gotta we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Can we fight them? No, we cannot. I don't wanna lose them. Oh, that was a huge one. So you can increase the size of your ship and all of a sudden you start playing as a capital ship, you know? This big ass destroyer. And then uh, you can add factories to your ship and your ship start producing other smaller ships. And that gives you a fleet command. And you can actually command a fleet and give orders and tackle bigger enemies and harder enemies. Oh, I got that one. Okay, I'm almost out of R. Ah, this is a, this is one of my stations. Nice. I'm I'm the the one thing that makes me sad is that uh, I think that the space stations they should have like more. Uh, influence on your gameplay you know like some stations should have stuff that you could go in and get or trade or get better prices or better resources or like unlock new blocks to build different kinds of ships but I don't think that's the plan for the game although as I said it's still being active developed so you never know what you're gonna get this is a real nice game it's worth checking it out uh, it's on Steam of course and I mean you you must be careful because this will take hours of your life as almost all the games we play I, I'm, I'm flying over here because I want to see this ship I had a nice big ship around here where is it oh it's over there oh that's a nice fighter nice fighter they're defending the universe let's go up here and see what's going on Ooh. look at them the missiles oh they're gonna destroy me they're gonna destroy I got destroyed destroyed okay so I was reborn I have enough credits to build and buy bigger ships but the design process of it it's kind of it's kind of lengthy you know in time it's time consuming uh, even for experienced players because you know you are you, you always want to get that part right and then you want to add weapons and then you don't have energy so you have to design have strategies as soon as we get some more credits we can do that this is gonna kill me unless I kill it first <laughs> yeah too ambitious, too ambitious, I know, mighty Guga, you've been too ambitious. Let's go back to design screen. Alright, fleet. We have this new kind of interceptor, right? We can find new ships. Let's upgrade, let's get... Let's get better... Better... Better sizing for our ship. And let's see if we can add some uh, some other stuff so we can collect more R. So here's a container. You can also increase the size of, of some parts, you know. And do it like this. But it's not allowing me to do it because of this. See, that's what I'm what I'm talking about. You start you start messing with this and it takes it takes forever. It's not that it's not fun, it's a lot of fun, but it just takes forever, forever. Scratch that, 
cancel, discard, let's try again with a brand new one. What I need, what I need. I want a, I want a container. I want to increase my capacity to carry R so we can make more money. We already have more weapons. I don't think this will... Uh, let's get this... No, it's too big. Let's get this missile launcher here. Ah, you only... It only goes like that, so... Okay. This works. Oh, this is too big. Where's the missile launcher? Oh, here it is. Now we have three missile launchers. Uh, I think we need bigger cannons. I know this is not the best design because it's the f it's the first thing to go out when you are fighting your ship. But just to show you guys how awesome this is, this this ability to build your ships, you know, and then you can add more uh, more armor and more thrusters, and it has all these mechanics to making your ship uh, agile and maneuverable. It's fun. Let's go with this. Interceptor number three. Alright. Look. Now I have a big ass tank. It did increase a lot, just to 353 my capacity, but, well. Out. Let's get. I mean, hostile territory. We gotta take care. We gotta take care. Let's missile that. Send some missiles. Come over here. They're fighting me. Who? I got it. this one as well okay let me get get out of here let me heal for a little bit the missile seems to they seem to to be guided so you don't have to work come on you don't have to worry much about aim but it's not that they are very very accurate I think with bigger missiles and other parts you can get better. Oh, my R is full. Let's go back to the station and exchange that for money. Money, 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 money. All right. I'm zooming in and out, but the game kind of this this is kind of an uh, a thing for the game, you know. You have to zoom in and out. You cannot pilot the ship as zoomed in like this, you know. Well, at least I can't. Alright, let's help this guy. Oh, this is a prototype of my design. It's great. I think it requires ability and agility because uh, you have to... As you shoot your ship, it moves. It actually gives you... It has nice and complicated physics okay they're attacking me and I'm gonna bust them up there we go they come from nowhere I don't know where they're coming from okay I think the sector of the galaxy is being warred upon you know well, I think this game is really nice. Uh, it has a lot of tension it's still being active de developed, and as you can see, you can have a lot of fun not only playing the ships you design, but design them. It's really fun and very, uh, as I said, time consuming. I hope you guys like this game. This is all the time we have. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of reassembly just shout out to me and maybe we can make a let's play series out of it uh, please subscribe comment like share do whatever you want this is mighty guga and i'm out